Tonight is all about one spot, one bait, one hour, and see if we can get it done. All we need to do is catch one fish to make this a success. So all we gotta do is uh, get some baits in the water and see what happens. So the bait of choice for tonight in this challenge is moon eye. Uh, these are fresh caught, just caught them literally a couple hours ago. And we're gonna see if we can turn these into some catfish. Now, I wanna start off by saying that on a regular day, we don't have a whole lot of current in this river right now. 0 0.3, 0 0.4 is all the current we have. On a regular day, I would not be anchored up. On a regular day, I would be dragging baits. Even though it's dark, I'd still be dragging baits um, up the river. But doing the show, I can't keep up with everything. So we're gonna do, we're gonna be anchoring. So everything that we're gonna do this evening is going to be anchor. I'm gonna have anchor rigs on. First rig that we're going out is gonna be a moon eye head. Now this is just a regular Carolina rig. Got a slip sinker on it. Got a light, this is only a five ounce weight. Uh, low current conditions, definitely use a lighter weight. Got 80 pound slime line, heavy cover leader line, down to an ADOT boss cat. And this is just the anchor slip rig from slungercat.fish with a big old moon eye head. And just like everything else, I'm gonna bait everything first and then start throwing it out, especially at night. It's really crucial that you, uh, you bait everything and then throw everything out. Now on this one, I'm gonna use a Santee style float rig. And I've got the gut pocket off the moon eye, their center section. And I've got it hooked through the, through the guts. And if you notice, I've kind of got it at an angle. That's just to help prevent it, keep from spinning back and hooking into itself. Now I know a lot of people love the heads of baits, but that center cut of a moon eye is absolutely amazing bait. And before I get too far along, we're using the pin squalls. This is a pin squall two. Um, I've also got most of them back there are pin squall originals. 50 pound slime line. This is a medium heavy Hellcat. And like I said before, we're using the anchor slip rigs from Slunger Cat Outdoors. Now I will have a couple out there that's gonna be a little bit different. I'll have cannonballs on those. As you guys can see right there in the center, those are floats and I'll have two on floats. All right, here's the first one that's gonna be going out on the float. You can see that's just the tail section of a moon eye. And I've got a cannonball. Now what I'm gonna do with it is I'm just gonna drop it straight down beside the boat. I'm gonna let it hit bottom, free spool it down, let it hit bottom. There it hit bottom, I got good contact. Now we don't have a whole bunch of current, so you know, honestly, minimal weight. We'll do this right here. I'm gonna reel the tip of my rod down to the water and I'm gonna give it two cranks. Now these floats are just homemade floats with a release clip and I'm gonna put them about a foot down from the tip of my rod. And I've just got a snap swivel on one end and then a clip on the other end. I had to go to the dollar store to get glow sticks. The only kind they had was glow poop. Glow poop. Yeah boy, we got glow poop. Who don't like a little glow poop? Now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that glow stick and I'm just gonna shove it right down into that foam. Just like that right there. And we're gonna send that bad boy out on its way. I'm gonna take this next one and I'm gonna do a Hail Mary out towards the middle of the river. Now we're pretty close to the bank, but I'm gonna do a Hail Mary. Yeah, baby. Right out there in the middle. I'm gonna let her hit bottom and uh, let her sit out there. 
there's not even enough current to pull that float back there and free spool. I'm gonna start over here on the right side of the boat and I'm gonna cast up on the bank and work my way out. We're just fishing an industry area tonight. Shallow water, hoping these fish will come up here and feed. We got some brush and some areas down through here that uh, where those barges and tugs kind of work, make little scour holes. And we're gonna see what happens. Now all the all the bait that we got out there is moon eye, uh, fresh caught moon eye. Makes me feel good to be able to have some good, good fresh bait. So that float, uh, you guys can't see it back there, but the float that I put out this evening, this is what it looks like. These are just uh, garage made floats. So I've got some heavy Andy leader line uh, crimped up and I've got a couple beads right there. Now that goes to a snap and that's just got a uh, release clip on it for like a, for planter boards. And then I've got a little snap here. So this goes on your line and if you catch a fish, it can break free from this and the line will just run free through that. And then on the top, I've just got a washer, a loop and a bead. Um, these will hold up uh, somewhere around uh, 15 ounces or so. But you, the good thing is you can make them bigger. Uh, just solid pool noodle without the hole. I put a piece of tube in the center to help protect the line. And I put that loop on there uh, to be able to clip them all together with a, uh, just a, you know, some sort of clip and throw them in a box, help keep things organized. Or whenever you're fishing, you can put a clip on your rod holder and hang those on there. You don't have to worry about them blowing out when you're going up and down the river. Whew, man, we gotta look, look right back, back there. I didn't even see it. That's a barge. Wow, and that's why, that's why I do not uh, drag and try to do shows in the middle of the night. It's very dangerous, very, very dangerous. A joker will sneak up on you now, I'm telling you. So I use a small uh, spin cast reel. This is just a 2000 series reel and this is actually a catching jacks let's see here catching jacks medium uh, spinning rod and then this is my favorite float right there but just a float and i come down and you can see one hook right here and i was catching them pretty deep tonight about about seven or eight foot, but one hook there with cricket on it, and then I got a split shot, um, and then I've got another hook right here, and I'll put like wax worms, mill worms, or another cricket on it, uh, whatever they whatever they uh, want. But this is kind of like the double hook Kentucky rig for uh, moon eye, and then I will just fish for them around current seams um, down down along the banks. Uh, where uh, trees are overhanging, there's a lot of bugs, insects. If you know, industry areas is always a good area to fish for them because there's a lot of insects, a lot of bugs. So, in those areas, you'll find a lot of moon eye. Oh oh uh oh uh oh. Let's see if we can keep him on. I want you to look at here, folks. I want you to look at here. 
Now, now that poor little guy has had a rough night. We caught a fish. We done it. 56 minutes. One bait, one spot, one hour. 0.3 mile hour current, mind you. Not a big fan of that. But look, somebody has broke him off. So I'm going to cut that line. Not a monster, but we'll take him. Little bitty guy. Pretty little feller. Pretty little feller. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what he's got stuck down his mullet. Look at that. Man. What is that? <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this but that was down his throat that is a piece of the moon eye that I just cut off and threw down there that's the tail off one of the moon eye I ain't that something pretty colors little guy we did not get skunked we got it did. I ain't never been so happy to catch such a small fish in my life. We got it done, folks. We got it done. That's right, Jeremy. The only thing prettier than a little flathead's a great biggin'. Man, he drilled that thing too. I actually thought he was going to be bigger than what he was. He surprised me. He surprised me. Let's throw that bait back out. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed tonight's video. Hopefully you got something out of it. And hopefully you come back and watch another one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, hit that thumbs up and share it if you get a chance. Love you guys. Hopefully you found some value out of today's video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. God bless.